morning. How are you doing? Awesome. My name is Vahid Chitsas, part of the Lead Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here, Jimmy. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're coming in from. Absolutely. So I am about 20 minutes north of Philadelphia. I'm in a town called Levittown, uh, right out of Bristol Borough. And uh, my name is Jimmy Lee Velez. I like to consider myself a change agent. Um, I, little, I do a little bit of uh, motivational speaking. I do, uh, I'm an author. I have my own podcast. We have our own lifestyle brand. We're getting into it, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for awesome. having us on. Love it, love, it, love it. Thank you so much for being here. Jimmy, let's dive into it. Thinking Grow Rich. When did you start? How did you start? All right, so uh, it actually all started back in 2006. I was um, uh, introduced to the personal development industry. Um, a, a buddy of mine actually asked me to be a part of a home-based business. And uh, as most of you know, part of those businesses is, um, you know, changing the mindset of the, uh, the old nine-to-five uh, deal there. And uh, so I was given a bunch of books. Uh, one of those books was Think and Grow Rich. And uh, I had what you call a paradigm shift. Um, everything completely changed for me. I saw life totally at a, you know, at a different outlook. It was um, a, a time of great change. I was just graduating college. I actually attended uh, Temple University. Um, I was going for nothing that had to do with business or personal development. I was in the health industry. Um, and then everything totally changed. But because I was in my senior year, I decided to continue what I was doing uh, just to get my degree. Uh, but with that being said, I haven't looked back. Um, and it's been quite some time uh, behind me. You see my a portion of my library. I became an avid student and I made a promise to myself to become a, a, a lifelong student. That is awesome. That is awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm always learning. So, or I'm always sharpening on my tools on what I learned that I wasn't able to apply correctly the first time or, 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 you know, updating myself. So I agree with that hundred percent. It's a never ending process. I think that's why self development is very, very interesting to a lot of people because, uh, you can keep on going and going and going and there's no, and, and here's the crazy part. The more you learn, the more you realize you don't know a lot of stuff. That's the crazy part. That's a, that's absolutely true. And the other thing is, um, a lot of it is what we call, uh, as you see behind me, there's a ton of books. We start to get this, you start digesting so much material. And if you do not either share it or p apply it, right? So applied knowledge is power. Um, you, you start to get cramps and stuff in your, in your mind and, and in your daily living. So it's the application of everything that we're learning and sharing. In fact, um, I gave away more than half my library realizing uh, that I needed to share the information and, and the best source was, you know, straight from the author's mouth. So, yes, the more I read, the more I learn. Uh, I'm part of, you know, a mastermind group myself where we kind of share books, uh, share ideas and that kind of thing. Because I think it's, you know, learning is one thing or reading is one thing, but the application is a whole other animal. I love it. I love it. Listen, Jimmy, I can send you my address whenever you want to send those extra books. I have a personal address. Absolutely. <laughs> don't be shy. You can, we'll pay for the postage. Don't worry. <laughs> Absolutely. Only a crazy man will give away books, man. Only a crazy man will do it. <laughs> well, here's the thing. So I, I do a lot of I do a lot of traveling. So the books that I did give away, I ended up getting like a book on tape or like the audio version. Uh, so so I don't miss out. Um, and, and it's good to go back, as you know, when you go back and reading into these books a second, third, fourth, fifth time uh, with Thinking Grow Bridge, it's at least 10 times for myself. Uh, you learn something new or you see something that you initially did not see. Uh, so that, that's the fantastic part about personal development and self-help. We're at different levels and that's OK. One's not better than the other. Uh, we're just at a different aspect. And when I go back myself, again, reading those same exact books, the same exact lines, they just hit me different. I agree with that 100%. So, Jimmy, let's go into a practicality. What were the two principles that you think you utilize the most in your success so far? What were those two principles? Um, for the first one would have to be auto-suggestion. I think uh, talking to myself, the positive self-talk was a big thing. And I think it's a big thing for a lot of people. A lot of times we get so excited, we generate all these ideas. Uh, we get pumped up or we leave a meeting or we leave a conversation. We're super enthusiastic. And on the way home, driving home or just talking to another person, we talk ourselves right out of that very thing. 
Uh, so it's that positive self-talk, and I use that through um, auto-suggestion. With auto-suggestion, I basically convinced myself I knew exactly what I was going to do. I was going to stick with it. I developed discipline. I developed confidence. Um, and the other thing is there's this wavering uh, that we do um, when someone who does not maybe understand what we're trying to promote or the, the, the goals that we're trying to achieve, uh, it gives you that underlying confidence to, to make it almost say that's okay that they don't understand, but I know what my mission is. Um, I know what my desires are, and I get to be in alignment uh, with the universe when it comes to those kinds of things. So it was definitely um, auto, auto suggestion. And, and just being, being able to stick to what I say, making a decision and sticking with it. I know a ton of people who have take forever to make a decision, right? You know, we all know these people and it's almost like the, you go back to the, the example that is, is, it's classic when, you know, a couple is out eating and no one knows what to do, what restaurant to go to or what to order off the menu. Um, you know, I learned really quick to not waver my decision. Sometimes it could be wrong, but sometimes it could be right but either way, sticking with it and basically making it right. So it's that auto-suggestion um, and, and kind of being stubborn and, and sticking with my decisions. Um, the, the last one would definitely, have, definitely be the, the mastermind group. If you're not around positive uh, people, if you're not around that energy, if you're not around the same uh, you know, frequency or the frequency you're trying to attain, um, or if you're the biggest cat in the room, right? Uh, so we got to constantly challenge ourselves through these mastermind groups um, and, again, sticking with our decisions. I agree with that 100%, especially the mastermind group. You can learn so much from other individuals' experience and wisdom that it's invaluable. You, I, I, I look at it as a shortcut for your success. So if you missed out a lot of years that you weren't hustling for your business, for your future, I think with a mastermind group, you kind of do that jump where you don't have to go through all the turbulences, ups and downs, all those challenges. You get somebody else who's done it, get their wisdom and knowledge, and run with that and add on top of that. So I agree with the mastermind group 100%. Yeah, 100%. And, yeah, and as you mentioned, you cut the learning curve, right? That's the reason why we are reading these books. But when you're with, with the mat, what's so different and great about the mastermind group is that we're all giving off a specific kind of energy so that a book and a printed paper cannot. So when you have somebody who's in front of you, who's done a business that you're trying to do or who's achieved the goal that you're trying to achieve, they're, they're releasing a frequency and energy that a book or nothing else can. So when you're around that, two or three or four more people are all thinking in the same direction. It creates that whole other uh, you know, brainstorming mentality where you're going to start generating ideas. You're going to start learning things that you had no idea before, prior going into that mastermind group. And now we do it weekly. Um, we have our own podcast, but after the podcast, we do our own little meeting. Uh, we talk about the ideas that we just discussed with our previous guests, and, and we always talk about how we can get better. Um, and even our guests, we ask them specifically, how can we get better? Through the mastermind group, they start then joining us, and, and it just creates this cool energy. I agree with that 100%. Now, I'm going to put you on the spot right here. How good is your Spanish? Uh, not very good. <laughs> not very good. I can understand. I can listen to everything, but speaking a man is chopped. <laughs> you can't convince anybody to read the book if they speak Spanish that they need to read Thinking Gorge. You can't say it in Spanish. Nah. <laughs> you have to think about it. Never mind. It's cool. I just, I just wanted to see if you can get the last segment where you could say in Spanish why individuals need to read this book. And how powerful it is because I know we got so many people from Portugal. I mean, we got Brazilians that speak Portuguese. We got Spanish. We got so many other languages. Just crazy how, you know, one, just one book, how, how much it could have impact in everybody in all, all over the world. Now, I think it's been translated like over 200 different languages, which is crazy. So there shouldn't be any, any excuses for anybody not reading it. So that definitely I agree. Now, if you had to tell me, and you had to convince me why I should go rethink and grow rich. What would you say to that person? I would, honestly, in my genuine opinion, it would be exactly from my experience. Don't, don't even take my advice. I say continue living the life that you're living. But 
if you want, why not give it a try? Why not change one little thing? We're saying one single little book. The reason being for me, I, it created an entire paradigm shift, right? So at, well, my entire negative thinking and how I looked at life, it, it was more of like a, a skeptical way of, uh, a, and a negative way and approach. I had no idea these possibilities were out there for me just because of you know the, the, the kind of upbringing. And it wasn't a bad one, it was just, we were not open to these thoughts. And once you expose yourself to this kind of thinking, once you expose yourself uh, to, to these thoughts and these ideas, uh, Napoleon Hill you know, you know, interviewed thousands, tens of thousands of individuals to put all that information into one little tiny book back in the 30s, the late 30s, uh, I believe it's 1937, and he generated, you know, over, I think it's over 70 million sold copies. There's something to this book, right? There has to be something to this book. If that many people are reading, if that many people are, are into it, over, uh, nearly 100 years later, uh, there has to be something to it. It's, a, it's gonna change you in a positive way, why not? If, if you have the ability to completely change your life through a book uh, that costs you know, basically nothing in, into what you can get into return, it's 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 unbelievable. Again, I say, if it's not for you, I say give it a try. If it's not for you, you can go back to how things were, right? We could always go back to how things were. But the what if will kill you, I'm telling you. The what if, just give it one shot. Read one chapter. I'm telling you the way, that, the way it's written uh, is just absolute genius. It's captivating. It's exciting. You Every page, you just want to turn to the next one. Even if the chapter's over, I'm like, I'm going to the next one. What is he talking about? Desire. Okay, what are you talking about? You, and just keep going. You keep reading. You keep reading. It's absolutely fascinating information. And again, nearly 100 years later, people like us are still passionate. People like us are still excited about a book that, well, I, I basically owe my life to it because I, I'm indebted to the information that it gave me. I appreciate that, Jimmy, you sharing that. I, I, I don't have anything to add to that. It was complete. You said it all. I mean, you took the words out of my mouth. That's it. It, it changes your life and uh, for the better. So I haven't met that many people that said I read the book and I got nothing out of it. So I'm yet to want to interview those people that didn't get, you know, this life-changing experience. So we can find out what happened, right? So, Jimmy, I appreciate you being with us. Uh, thank you so much for taking this time out of your busy day. Hopefully, we'll get to do more. You got to work on that Spanish, man. You got to write that script. You could read, you just read it for me, whatever. So we'll, we'll do it in different languages. And hopefully my team and I will reach out to you. We'll do a couple of more interviews to see. I want to pull out, I, I want to pull the how to out of you of how you implemented thinking Gorich principles. So you and I are going to be in contact, brother. I appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. You got it. Talk to you later. Bye bye. See you.